Hey everyone, this is Matt with Leap Motion, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using our V2 Skeletal Unity assets. Before we begin, we need to make sure we have V2 Skeletal Tracking installed, so go under the Leap Motion and click Visualizer. If your hands don't look like this, then you don't have the new Skeletal Tracking, so you need to go download that from our website, right here. Once you have that installed and your hands look like that, you need to download the Unity Assets, which we'll link to right here. But you can also go to Window, Asset Store, and search for Leap Motion. Once you've downloaded the Unity package, we need to import it into our project. So we're going to create a new project, and we're going to make a really simple demo just with a couple blocks. So we'll call it Blocks, Blocks. Okay, once we have a new project, we right-click in the Assets window, go over to Import Package, and click on Custom Package. Find wherever the Unity package is and import it, and click Import. Okay, so once we imported the package, we have two folders. We have a Plugins folder, which has all our API bindings and allows us to interact with the uh, Leap Motion device and the Leap Motion folder, which contains all our prefabs and scripts and scenes and all that. So go under the Leap Motion folder and double click on the Skeletal folder and you'll see the models, prefabs, scenes, and scripts. We're first going to pull up one of the prefabs that will just put our hands on the screen and that is called Hand Controller. So we're going to just drag and drop that into the scene now this hand controller prefab is like a virtual leap motion. So our hands are over the physical leap motion in the real world. So our hands will appear over the virtual hand controller in the virtual world. So we want to put the, the hand controller beneath where we want our hands to appear. Let's center that. The camera is looking down the z-axis. And let's put this hand controller centered in X down a little bit in Y, and a little bit closer to us. So 0, negative 3, negative 3. And if we run that, we get our hands on the screen. Uh, it's a bit dark, so let's just add a quick light, and we can see what the hands look like. And click play again. And there are our hands on the screen. Unclick Gizmos to hide the light. Now let's just add a couple more things to our scene to interact with. Uh, let's create one cube. Let's put it right above our controller. So that'd be at 0, 0, and negative 3z. That should be right above our controller. OK, that is. And if we want to interact with it, we need to add a rigid body to it. So let's go back. Click on the cube, add rigid body, click play again. Oops, we need to disable gravity so it doesn't fall away. That's how you set up a basic scene in Unity using Elite Motion Skeletal Assets.